Now you might see the phrase Rosh Hashanah on your social media today. And for some of you, you're probably wondering what that means. It's the name given to the Jewish New Year. ABC6 News reporter, Good Morning Reporter Sunise Atz, shares how it's celebrated. Rosh Hashanah is the first of the Jewish high holy days, and the phrase itself means head of the year in Hebrew. It's a time to reflect and repent ahead of the new year. The holiday is celebrated with prayer, symbolic foods like apple, honey, and my personal favorite, challah, which is like a sweet bread. And you can't forget the blowing of a shofar. You've probably seen it in photos. It's among the things that were used when they were announcing to one another on the hilltops in ancient times that the holiday had been declared, that they had seen the new moon. They would send messages across the hills through sound. And so it's a, it's a way of binding a community together. The hearing of that sound brings people together and there are people who come here and their holy day is not complete if they have not heard the shofar blown. Rosh Hashanah ends Tuesday night, but the holiday isn't exactly over. The holiday kicks off the high holy days or the 10 days of penance, ending with Yom Kippur, one of the most sacred religious Jewish holidays. That's the Day of Atonement, where people ask for forgiveness for their sins. This is often done with fasting. Coming up tonight at 6, I'm sharing how the Jewish community remembers those who have passed on, and I'll share how that tradition is being brought into the classroom of one local high school. Shana Tova, or Happy New Year, in Rochester, Sydney Zatz, ABC 6 News.